So we're gonna tie these two plastic 1500 gallon Norwesco tanks together. We get a lot of questions about how the best way to do that is. And what we do is, first of all, between the two tanks, you wanna make sure you have enough clearance for an excavator bucket. That would be usually a minimum of 12 inches. Um, in case these tanks ever have to be dug out, you don't want them too close together that the, the teeth of the bucket uh, mar the tank or even puncture it. It's helpful to take a measurement between the two tanks and mark it down somewhere for the homeowner or for yourself if you're the homeowner. But what we're going to do uh, to connect these two tanks, we're going to use our two inch tank penetration gaskets. And I'm going to start by drilling a hole in one of the tanks and it's best to stay on a rib here. And the reason we use the two inch gasket is that that's an ideal size for these ribs. Any larger and it's gonna to be too big for, for the rib. So I'm gonna start by drilling a hole. I have a three inch hole saw for the two inch gasket. And we have the hole saw chart on our website on the tank penetration gasket page. And I'm gonna drill this three inch hole into the tank. We're going to take a pocket knife and clear out the edges here to make sure we have, we, we need an exact, exactly three inch hole. We're going to leave that for now and we're going to take a piece of two inch pipe. We have one end already beveled down. I'm going to insert this into here and use this two inch pipe to line up our hole for the next, uh, to line up our hole for the, for the other gasket. It's important to make sure you have a level base under these tanks and try to compact it as much as possible. And you don't, we're trying to minimize uh, the settling difference between the two tanks. So we want them to settle equally. If they don't, Thankfully, in, this, in these gaskets, there's enough give in the gasket itself to allow for some difference in settling. But we're going to mark this hole. And then drill our second hole. Now, once we clean up this hole, we're going to pick a tank to push from. And in this case, we're going to push from this tank. So I'm going to put the gasket on the outside of this cistern. We're going to put some of our blue lube. This is a specially formulated pipe lube for drinking water systems. And put a little bit in here. And then I'm going to get in the inside of the cistern and put this gasket in from the inside of the tank so that they're facing the same way. You can't push the pipe through the back side of the gasket. It has to go through the flange side. So I'm going to get inside the cistern, insert this gasket, and I'm going to start feeding the pipe from inside this tank all the way through to this, this uh, fitting here. And you'll see what that looks like from the outside here. Put a little pipe lube on this gasket. And I will head inside this tank. Helps the heavier plunge. Okay. 
Okay, now you can catch it from over there. Almost. Three more inches to tank. Okay. You're in the gasket if you just keep tapping it through. Yeah. You're plenty in there now. There you go.